Hello there, and welcome to this uh, brief overview of uh, a World of Warships overlaid I made for my Twitch stream. Uh, just to go through what we're doing. Loaded up OBS, which I use for streaming Twitch. Created a new scene for World of Warships. Added in the background, as you saw there. Then we started compiling the overlay within Photoshop itself. Uh, firstly, I'd select a few uh, in-game screenshots just to get a lay of what articles are on screen in the game and to work the overlay around them. A few of these screenshots had different parts to them. Our ship counts in the top left and right. We had award badges above the map on the bottom right. So I used several different examples just to uh, make sure I wasn't covering stuff up. Um, the first part was looking for something similar to the game to start as a top banner bar. And uh, it was pretty square and the ocean blue. So I selected the ocean blue color, created a simple uh, rectangle shape. And working with the blending options, just uh, added a bit of texture in with the bevel and emboss just to give it a bit more fullness rather than the, the plain blue bar here I was trying to attempt um, some sort of wave texture but the textures built into Photoshop just weren't cutting it so I went ahead and started creating a custom shape just out of basic lines a few shades lighter than the blue I'd already used And what I'll be doing is just uh, extending this one, uh, duplicating it several times. Just grouping them together. Just so uh, copy and paste to be a little bit quicker. And just randomly placed them so they ended up a couple of the lines thicker than others, spaced differently. Again, just uh, merged the layers together and placed over the top of the bar. Then using the filter galleries, I looked at the ocean ripple effects, which didn't turn out fantastic. So I just tried, uh, we went for the, the the glass distort, which gave us a sort of watery ripple effect. It was a bit repetitive pattern, but it was good enough for what uh, I was after. Again, just uh, experimenting with the filters just for a different feel and just to make it a bit softer we added a bit of Gaussian blur and then used the, the layer blending mode there just to, to blend it in again to be a bit more softer because this will go on in a, a transparent scale onto the uh, game in the end so we don't want anything too aggressive to distract from the game it's a little bit aggressive still there, so I'll tone it back down a bit. And um, we've got the, the rough start of the uh, the title bar across the top. Uh, put added a bit of transparency so I can see what game artifacts are underneath. And as you can see, we've got the ship counter and the game scores. So it was a simple case of taking the, uh, the selection tool and cutting out ample shaped holes for them to uh, to show through. hadn't played the game much before this so I hadn't realized the small arrows at the end there were extra ships so I will be extending them them gaps later on. So there's the basics shining through the number of ships and counts a ship counts in the game. I realize it does extend further than the, the gaps I've created. Um, these ship counters at the sides, I haven't seen them in games since, so it may have been a, an alteration in the beta, but I still accommodated for them, which just broke up the uh, basic rectangle shape as well. So what I'm doing is just creating a, a solid shape as a template here, of the, the rough uh, shape I was after. Rasterize those shapes together, just fill it in just to create a, a, almost like a stencil. And 
using the selection tool to get the shape. I then copy and pasted that to the other side so we had exactly the same shape. So it should be a perfect mirror image. And selected the actual shape itself. Return to the uh, top bar and cut that away from the rectangle there. So there we have a bit more shapes to the uh, to the overall bar. I noticed the um, filter effects had created a, a bit of a shadow there, so I trimmed that off just to clean and tidy that up. And I was just stuck for something to do in the center because currently you could still see the ship counters at the top, uh, the ship icons, um, but we'd covered up the uh, capture zone letters there, the ABC icons, and the um, progress bars. So using the shapes that I already created, just to, to keep them fairly uniform, I sliced out the middle to show the match numbers. I found the central point. I so copy and pasted this shape and reversed the image. So we had a perfectly central, even shape. Again, selected that just as a template and cut it away from the bar at the back. I found uh, the shape wasn't quite big enough to show the progress bars for the capture lines. So I just undid the, the cut and then just worked at extending the shape. It did lose the 45 degree angles but it didn't have to be perfect so I just worked with it till I found something I was happy with which turned out to be roughly in this region. Once I had that uh, selected, again hit the selection tool and slice that shape away. There was a few odd artifacts with the pixels, as you can see they're short when I create a white background, so just to trim those pointy bits off, just uh, smooth off the image a little bit. There we go. And also the, just the top points there, just to smooth them a little bit. Uh, I was pretty happy with the result. Starting to take shape. Now we go back in and just extend these uh, it cut away just that little bit more to incorporate the last ships. Even on both sides. So I'm not pretty happy with what we have so far. Obviously the game logo just threw that in. Tricky one to place but uh, decided over the side would be perfectly fine. Then I obtained a few of these uh, ship uh, diagrams. Just simple Google them online. The select tool wasn't quite cutting it, so I just manually cut them out. Desaturated the image. Removed some of the white background. and dropped them into the overlay. Resize them just to fit into those blank spaces, just to give it a bit more uh, detail. And uh, switch the, the layer, uh, layer blending, just so we have a nice subtle image there to give some uh, extra detail to the basic blue bar. Again, we've got this German ship. simple cut and paste, clear up the image, take out the white background and copy and paste that into our Twitch overlay. And that dropped in perfectly, oh, there's a few white artifacts that showed up. I shrank that down to size, 
check for the same size as the other side just to keep it uniform. Put it in place and alter the blending mode again. Let's tweak the transparency just to blend it that little bit more subtly. And we've got the bulk of the uh, image just flicking through to see how the overlay matches up. Seems to be going fine, so the next step was to look for a convenient place to place the webcam. So I'll just nip it over to the Elite Dangerous overlay, steal the webcam picture because that was set at the size I used for the webcam already. So there'll be no alterations to have to do in OBS. I still had a copy of the original blue bar that we created for the top profile. Here I'm just experimenting with different places for the camera as you can see it starts to cover over information on the left hand side. So I've brought it across the right above the map. I hadn't realised at the time it will be covering over some of the award badges when you obtain hits on ships so I may adjust the position of this camera again. It's just quite a awkward one to place. A lot of the screen is used for information in the game. So just removing the bevel boss effects that that layer had picked up. And using it to create a border for the webcam picture. So we've got the exterior sorted. And just shrunk the webcam image down just a small amount. So we get a, a thicker border. And again it was just a case of going back to that blue but uh, blue square adding a bevel emboss. Tried adding a bit of texture just to again give it a little bit of detail. Not nothing too strong so I tone the transparency down a bit, the blend. Just to give it that kind of ripple effect to match the ocean. It seems to match up reasonably well. And just a nitpick, I rounded off the corners. Just a few pixels just to soften the, the points there. Remove the webcam layer underneath the, uh, the outline. And there's a, a rough layout of how, what we've completed it. Just altering a few settings with the, the border on the webcam again, just to soften it in the background a bit. It was quite a, a harsh blend. And there's the final transparent overlay. So we just export that as a, a PNG file to keep the transparency. And we load that into our uh, OBS layout. Just add in a screenshot from the game just to get an idea of what it looks like. And there it is loaded up into OBS. We throw in the, the webcam image. Line that up and layer it underneath the overlay. And here we are in game as it's uh, being used. As you can see I used the uh, the areas with the ships along the bar just to add in a few stats and details of my uh, my account. Okay, that's my warships overlay. Thanks for watching.